Hello, I'm Ryan Makasar, Rappler Multimedia Reporter for the Visayas. This is Rappler Recap. Uh, this afternoon or this morning, we've been covering the campaign launch of gubernatorial candidate Ace Dorano, the former tourism secretary and a former congressman of the 5th district of Cebu. Uh, the uh, campaign started at, uh, with mass and um, the tandem of Ace Dorano and his running mate Junjun David, they held a press conference um, this morning. And I think the interesting thing um, to note this morning is that the, um, the, the two do, do not have the same um, national alignment. So the vice governor, the current vice governor, Junjun David, is still a member of the Liberal Party and is supporting the, the candidacies of Lenny Robredo and Senator Kiko Pangilinan. Whereas um, Ace Durano has not yet chosen a president, but he has already expressed support for um, Sara Duterte, the mayor of Davao, for vice president. Um, his, the, his family's Bakud party, uh, which has been, um, his family has been ruling in Danao City, where they launched their campaign for decades now, has already expressed support for the unity in tandem of Bongbong Marcos and Sara Duterte. Here in Lilo and Town, um, one of their rivals, uh, Cristina Garcia Frasco and Duke Frasco, are um, supporting are also supporting the Unity in Tandem. Cristina Frasco is the um, spokesperson of Mayor Sara Duterte. Um, so uh, even so, even if the, they are um, rivals, they they may end up supporting the same bet, which uh, shows how complicated political uh, political alignments are in Cebu province. Um, Cebu is the most voter-rich province in the Philippines with 3.2 million voters. So a lot is at stake here, um, not only for this election, but for um, the, the um, next elections to come, um, even the, the next midterm. Whoever um, is, if, if uh, Dorano is able to unseat the Garcia family, it will um, be a big blow to the um, expanding power of the Garcia family. Um, they have been able to um, consolidate their support base throughout the province through their local party, One Cebu, which has been credited with um, being a, a big uh, support to the candidacy of to the candidacy of um, President Rodrigo Duterte, and they have they have also expressed support for Sara Duterte. Uh, this is just the beginning of the local campaign season. Uh, the um, so far uh, the only presidential bet to come visit Cebu during the campaign period and hold a rally is um, Vice President Lenny Robredo. In the next couple of weeks, we should expect to see more national bets, um, more national um, people campaigning for national office to come visit the most vote-rich province. Um, and it's still anyone's game at this point. Um, we've seen a lot in, in this part of Cebu, we've seen a lot of um, uh, supporters for the unit team come out. Um, uh, the um, posters you see behind me are um, for, let me try to show you, uh, for Lenny, Jun Jun, right here, for Lenny, Jun Jun, and Ace. So this group supports the candidacy, candidacies of um, Ace Dorano and of um, Vice Governor Jun Jun Davide, but is supporting Lenny Robredo and Kiko Pangilinan for president. So it's going to be, I think, an intense um, an intense fight uh, here in Cebu for um, 3.2 million votes. Uh, so stay tuned to our coverage. Uh, the, we are uh, stay tuned to the hashtag PHVote and hashtag WeDecideOnRappler. Again, I'm Ryan Macasero, Rappler Cebu.